as you can imagine with a new industry and a new set of players and and uh, different kinds of people coming in and providing advice you know we find that improper application of the tax law is fairly rampant in the industry and it is exposing a lot of companies to a lot of penalty possibilities that they just don't see yet because it takes years before the IRS gets on to your particular company or your issue and as we all know whether the IRS actually ever gets onto your issue or not may depend on the IRS's own fiscal budget and whether they have the resources to investigate uh, companies of your kind at that you know at this particular point in history but but I wouldn't bank on that and as a CPA we are not allowed to bank on that right we always advise on the basis of if the IRS knows everything that we know what would what would the answer be and that's what we recommend for our clients those are the clients we want to work with are the ones that want to try to play it straight and frankly those of you that are out there that are you know it's not just the IRS it's really it's not the IRS actually catching something that you're doing incorrect or maybe the state government catching something that you're doing incorrect that is necessarily where you're going to get hurt where you're going to probably get hurt is in this expanding industry as there's mergers and acquisitions and and consolidations is that when a buyer does due diligence and they realize or they find out if you have a sophisticated buyer that knows how to do due diligence which we right now I don't see a lot of those I see I see a lot of buyers even those funded with public company funds out of Canada that don't appear to be what we would see in other industries as sophisticated buyers because they don't really do true due diligence and you know great for you those of you selling because you may be taking crazy tax positions that ultimately lead to um, that ultimately would lead to a lot of exposure and the buyers just blowing past it because they don't know any better because while they may appear sophisticated they're not quite as sophisticated as they they might appear but in the rest of the world in the rest in other industries what happens is that when you are getting acquired the buyer will do due diligence and they will get a report from another accounting firm that will tell them all of the ways in which buying your company will expose them to the risk of the IRS assessing penalties on them. So that creates this issue where the IRS never has to come knocking at your door. Just the possibility that they might could affect the valuation and the ultimate, uh, the ultimate negotiation that you have in a sale as the industry becomes more sophisticated. And for those of you who've been through a sale process and said, oh, Ty, we've never seen that happen before. Well, good for you. Good on you that you got through it without, without that happening. But I guarantee you that this is coming because this is how the rest of the business world works. And so as the industry becomes more streamlined, this is, this is exactly what will happen. And so it, it's not just where the IRS comes and asks these questions. It would also be where the potential buyer asks these questions because they don't want to take on your potential liabilities, no matter how remote they may, you may think they are.